Namaste. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the concept of equipotential surfaces. But uh, before that, uh, you should know the idea about uh, what is charge, electric charge, what is uh, electric field and what is potential. We are, we are not only theoretically discussing the equipotential surfaces, I am showing how uh, it uh, practically works equipotential surfaces. We had a, a tiny experiment, I will show you later. So before that, I will teach you some about the theory about equipotential surfaces. If we had a, some kind of charge, electric charges, obviously it creates an electric field all around it. And according to the according to the Coulomb's law, forces in most of uh, according to the Coulomb's law, force is inversely proportional to square of the distances. How do you say you have a charge? So in order to find whether there is a charge or not, you need another charge. If I place any charge here, it should experience some kind of force. If it is a positive charge, if I place a positive charge, it ripples. If I place a negative charge, it attracts. I say if it is a, this is a positive charge, you know that now. Few lines are moving away from a positive charge. If any kind of charge, if we are away from an equal distance from a charge in any direction, we should experience the same amount of force. But if we are here, okay, one meter away, if we experience some amount of force, say 10 newton, here also one, new, one meter away, you should experience a 10 newton of forces in any direction. In three dimension, if I join all those points and getting a spear, on the spear, you should experience the same amount of force. And that force is always acting in this direction, toward the charge, are away from the charges. It's not in this direction. So forces won't be acting toward the charges. So if you want to move a charge from here to here, it doesn't experience any force at all. It doesn't experience any force at all means the full the work done in order to move a charge from here to here along the sphere, it is completely zero. Work done is zero. That surface is called equipotential surfaces. And obviously here I see some potential, V is inversely proportional to R. Here more potential, less potential, potential it goes on, decreases. I randomly written numbers here, don't, don't, don't measure it. I written here 200 volt and 150 volt, 100 volt, 50 volt. Potential is goes on, decreases. So if you are moving each other from here to here, no potential difference. From But uh, here to here, there should be potential differences. We know that one. Negative charges are moving from higher potential, lower potential to higher potential and positive charges are moving from higher potential to lower potential. What is my experiment is, I had a somehow, I creating a charge here, I creating a charge here, and I place some um, metal here, okay, metal wire. So if I place a metal wire, metal wire contains electrons, electrons are starting to flow from here to here. But uh, in order to provide a continuous supply of uh, charges, I touch here, and I'm touching the ground here. Obviously, you know that one. ground is always providing any amount of charges or able to receive any, any amount of charges. So, charges, electrons are flow from here to here and going through my body and once again circulating, circulating. In the middle, I connected a LED. So, when charges are flow through this one, this circuit, LED is starting to grow. But cleverly, if I place it like this, I'm in the equipotential surfaces. Charges are doesn't go. I'm on the equipotential surfaces. Charge doesn't flow. So LED is it doesn't glow. If I place it like this, charges flow, LED should glow. In the same sense, we had an one thing. This is quite beautiful. We had a tube light. If I place the tube light like this, okay, like this, it starts to glow. Because there is potential difference. But if I cleverly place somehow manages to play like this along the equipotential surfaces, tube light doesn't glow. So let's see the experiment first. So before that, uh, I will not explain. Ah, this is saying some kind of device. Its name is plasma globe. Don't worry about how this plasma globe is works. Somehow, when I switch on the things, it collects some charges. And then you can see that black thing there. So it collects some charges. Whether it is positive or negative, it doesn't matter. When it collects the charges, obviously electric fields are created. So electric field lines are going like this. Obviously, if I place a LED like this, obviously it starts to glow. But in order to glow, I should touch here because I need to complete the circuit. But if I place it like this, I'm on the equipotential surface, it doesn't glow. So this is the experiment. Okay, so for that, I need a light condition here. I switch off the light. 
yeah, you can see there's some spawns. Don't worry about the spawns. But see the experiment. Now I got a LED. You can see things. It doesn't glow now. When I'm touching it, yeah, I start to glow. Yeah, now it's starting to glow. Because there is a potential difference between the two ends. But if I cleverly place like this, you can see LED doesn't glow because I'm on the equipotential surface. It doesn't glow. Now, yeah, once again, now it's glowing. Charges are flow through my body through LED. Okay, potential difference. Now it doesn't glow. I'll show you through tube light. This is quite amazing. Tube light is there. Yeah, charges are flow from here to here through my body. Look here. When I release here, charge flow from here to here through my body to the ground once again circulating. But this, it doesn't go here because I created channel here. Okay, circuit. When I touch here, it going through my left hand and release here. Go like this. But if I clever in place like this, no light at all because I'm on the equipotential surface. But if I place the light this once again, yeah, there is a light. Quite amazing, right? So equipotential surfaces are in real life it works. Amazing things, simply beautiful physics on this walls. So, the thing is, physics always works. See you next time. Thank you.